I'm Dr. Karthik Pingal, Apollo Hospitals, Hyderabad. I'm, I'm going to be talking about the treatment uh, options in osteoarthritis of the knee. Now in the early stage when the patient comes to us, we uh, treat them with, give them a, we tell them about how to uh, modify their lifestyle, what exercises to do, what to avoid and what they shouldn't do. In the early stage we give them pain medication, we give them some diacetin and some glucosamine and tell them that they should educate them also if they are overweight on uh, that they should lose some weight. Avoiding squatting, I tell most of the patients, use a western commode and to also avoid cycling. But walking for half an hour every day is recommended. When those uh, treatment modalities fail, the next stage is to inject the knee. Now these injections are of two types, one is a steroid and the second one is viscous supplementation using highly cross-linked hyaluronidase and this is called Synvisc1. Now these injections are safe, uh, Synvisc1 injections. The steroid injections we don't like to give too many of them uh, but it does help in reducing the pain. These uh, Synvisc1 injections can be repeated again after one year or six months depending on how much of relief the patient has had. If the knee joint is very severely damaged, then we would educate them about the need to have a arthroscopy or a total knee replacement. Essentially, the injections are to reduce the dependency on pain medication along with a combination of exercises and remedial measures such as losing weight, etc. Now, most commonly what happens when the patient has some uh, symptoms or pain or anything, they go to the general practitioner. They are usually given some medicines and when they don't settle and he goes back, they are referred to a specialist, usually in the form of an orthopedic surgeon. Now when we see the patient, we will initially do some blood tests and x-rays to make sure that there is no, no other type of arthritis like rheumatoid or gout or psoriasis etc. And once we exclude these causes, uh, it is then down to osteoarthritis, which is the most common form of arthritis in our country. X-rays give us an indication of how much of damage has occurred to the knee. Sometimes it may be necessary to do an MRI. So once it's recognized, we then tell them about the treatment options and how they should proceed from there.